Hi, this is Jenny Ann Smith from Avatarium and I'm here with Coran Weston, Marcus Udell and we are uh, at the moment in Moscow, Russia. Uh, we're here to do a gig tomorrow and uh, uh, we're quite happy uh, that we've uh, gotten this opportunity to talk about the tracks on our new album which will be released in the end of October. And the first song out that you might probably already heard is Girl with a Raven Mask, the title track. Oh girl with a raven mask, where do you have your home? Oh girl with a raven mask, do you live there all alone? It's an up-tempo track with a, a lot of strong lyrics and uh, it's, I guess it's a little bit different from what we've done before. Yeah, I think so. I think we tried to add a little, like uh, a little like punk rock feel to it, actually, and to combine it with like doom and classic hard rock thing. Yeah. I, w I would say. Way more progressive. Yeah. Song, more themes, more parts. Yeah, I think it's eight quite, minutes long. I think. Yeah, it's about that. It's quite com complex song, I would say. I think we really worked hard with that song just to uh, to make it, you know, to get the flow in it and everything, and uh, to make the composition work. Because there are, as Carl says, it's quite progressive, but uh, at the same time it has a really strong melody that carries out the whole song. So uh, it's uh, poetic, it's dramatic, and really powerful, I would say. Oh, you gave me pearls in the coffin In your usual soul The lyric is, uh, uh, of course, dramatic as well. It's about uh, a relationship turning out really, really wrong. And um, I think we've... Um, arrange that song in a beautiful way to, to match the lyric. Yeah, it started as some kind of Neil Young thing. I remember yeah. when, when we started to work on it and when Leif came with it, it was just supposed to be like an acoustic, more of an acoustic number, but then we, the song by itself, you know, just continued to find its way to where, what it ended up to. Pop influences in the, the whole construction or the way it's, it's built up. Uh, it's got, um, but it, I think also it's got some nice 60s, 70s flavor that I like a lot. But still, it's weird to change its tempo yeah. from the chorus to the bridge yeah. and chorus. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's also very yeah. Too, it's quite typical, weird, yeah, think. typical lavatarium song, I would say. In in that in the way that it's arranged, you know. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah. But it, it sounds different. It's I, I have this. Kind the of harmonies are different. Yeah, and I was it's almost some a little bit like jazzy harmonies actually, yeah. and and um, it's. it's um, and then again, it's uh, the melody on the verses are are really pop oriented, uh, combined with a, uh, a jazzy sort of underlying harmony. So, For me, I, yeah. was, I, I tried to find this crazy circus kind of feel to it when yeah. we started to arrange it. Like, yeah. What if like you're only like a horror, scary circus or something like that? And, yeah. But it's it yeah. Ended, up, ended up very good anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> great, great, chorus, great chorus. Yeah.